Bankruptcy! That's a joke. Don't declare bankruptcy unless you're in a dire financial situation. First, ask me down in the comments any questions related to your credit and I'll go ahead and get you the answer. The first thing you need to do to fix your credit is to stop procrastinating because procrastination just adds stress and anxiety to your life. Cause I have $30,000 in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt. Tomorrow I may buy myself a dining room set or this Boba Fett. Credit card debt, credit card debt, credit card debt. So my background was in accounting. I talk about this in some of my previous videos. Go check them out. But I studied accounting and I got my MBA. Then I actually worked in the industry for a while. So something that I learned is that most people have trouble knowing where to start with their own personal finances. Credit should be your starting point. You need to fix it. To begin with, you need a copy of your actual credit report from all three major reporting bureaus. That's Experian, TransUnion, and yes, even Equifax. It's important to understand that all of these companies are privately held companies in charge of their own information collecting and their specific reporting methods. This is important to understand because whenever a lender pulls your credit, they're actually only pulling the report from one of the bureaus. So if you only fix an issue, for instance, with Experian and the lender uses TransUnion, then you could still be screwed. Now, the easiest and cheapest way, it's free, to get your credit report is to go to the website annualcreditreport.com. Link in the description. This is a free service provided by the US government that allows every single American to get their free credit report from all three bureaus annually. It's completely safe with no BS. Then download a copy of the credit report from all three bureaus that way you're able to review them and find any negative marks that appear. You'll also be able to see each bureau is actually reporting. Now to the fixing part. Once you've attained your credit report, the first thing you need to do is to dispute every negative mark with each bureau. I'm going to repeat myself. Dispute every negative mark on your credit. You can easily do this online with all three bureaus though you do have to do it separately. So sometimes they do the research and sometimes they just remove the negative mark. And even if there's 10 negative marks and they only remove one or two, then guess what? Your credit is going to improve immediately. This takes a few days for the bureaus to respond to all the disputes, but it's well worth it. They'll notify you a decision usually through email, then reference the disputes that have been upheld and determine what the negative mark comes from. Personally, I had a collection that wasn't removed. The easiest way to remove a collection is to actually just call the collection company and work something out if you can. If you have the funds available, you can agree to pay the whole collection if they will remove the mark from your credit. Sometimes you can work out a deal with the company where you pay a reduced rate like 50 instead of $100 to have it removed. Important notes, make sure you get written notice that the mark will be removed once you've actually paid it. And if they refuse to remove it from your credit, then don't pay it. I repeat, don't pay it. It won't do you any good. The collection stays on your credit, affected it negatively, and you're out of the money. And the final thing to understand about collections is that collection companies will periodically sell your collection to other companies. This is why it's vital to dispute everything because you could be getting hit for the same collection twice. This is double jeopardy and it's not allowed in our credit system. So the credit bureau will automatically remove at least one of the collections with no questions asked. Unfortunately, if the negative mark is from a late payment on a line of credit, say a credit card, auto loan, etc., there's no way to remove it 
but it will affect your score less over time. The next tip to improve your credit is through a consolidation loan. Consolidation loans are incredible. Consolidation loans take one form of debt and change it into another form of debt. Usually at a better rate, always at better terms. For instance, I ran up a $12,000 credit card bill, okay? $12,000. So with an APR of 26.5%, paying the minimum would have taken me around 30 years to pay it off. So I got a consolidation loan. I went to LendingTree.com, and there's a bunch of different consolidation loan websites. But personally, I use the LendingTree.com, and I got a loan for $14,000. But $12,000 of the loan was for a balance transfer. A balance transfer means the money went directly from LendingTree to Discover to pay off the debt, consolidate it. Then the rest of the cash came to me. And that's why these loans are easy to get because the lender knows exactly where the money is going. It's not creating new debt, it's paying off existing debt. Now, my terms are three years at 6% interest. Now, my minimum payment is about twice as much, but I've already paid two years now. I only have one year left, and that's $14,000. That would have taken me my entire life at the minimum payment. But for me, and I believe it's a good thing for most people to have a higher minimum because you can plan accordingly. I never paid twice as much on the credit card, and even if I had, it still would have taken me much longer than three years because of the APR. Quick note on APR. APR stands for annualized percentage rate. That means you pay one month of what the yearly interest is on the entire principal. Every single month, you can pull up any amortization schedule and see for yourself what the actual interest is that you're paying on any debt quoted in APR. So APR was actually just created by banks to present great numbers to the consumer while giving you awful rates. APR is not simple interest, it's not even compound interest. It's much more awful. Not only do consolidation loans help lower your interest rates, they also help improve your credit because now you're paying off more of the principal every single month. This in turn increases your debt to loan ratio at a much faster pace, thus raising your credit at a much faster pace. So now you know how to take a few simple steps to drastically improve your credit but if you have any other credit questions, ask them down in the comments below. Finally, please like this video, hit the subscribe button, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat. Thanks for watching and have an excellent day.